Hi there, my name is Dawn Devine and welcome to my studio. This is where I make magic happen. I do research, I make costumes and jewelry bits and things and uh, yeah, thank you for joining me on my adventure. Now today what I'm going to do is talk to you about a pivot that I'm taking in my career path because it became clear in the spring that I can no longer sew on a moment's notice. My my hands have, as my friend Cynthia told me, an expiration date and it's nearing that date. So I have stopped taking commissions. Um, I am still going to make costumes and do projects, but I've entered my no deadline era. So I will no longer be sewing for money to a deadline, but rather make things as I feel I want to, like this necklace right here, or that I will do as drops on my Etsy store. So maybe I'll make a batch of earrings or I'll make a batch of hair flowers or other types of costuming accessories. Because realistically speaking, my hands are only good for about an hour of sewing a day these days. And that is a grim reality. Unfortunately, I've had a few people get very upset with me when I told them I was no longer sewing for money, but you know, I, there comes a time when you have to retire. So Studio Divina will continue on. We're just closing down basically one department of my production. But what does this mean for you? If you take classes with me, then thank you very much for your support. I am so glad to have you with me. I teach on you know, pre-recorded classes, demos, uh, his slide history talks via Patreon. And Patreon and I have been in a committed relationship for the past four years. It is a great platform that allows me a small, um, you know, niche artist to communicate with my peeps. It is really just when it all is said and done, if you are a small content creator, it's a great way to share your information without spending a lot of coin because things have gotten pretty expensive out there. And so this is a way that I can get you classes that are affordable for you, easy for me to make, and I get to benefit from your contribution. If you take a class from me, the cash goes directly to doing research. And as you know, I am a history, uh, a trained art historian and continue on as an independent researcher and, you know, with future books in on my horizon. So thank you very much for supporting my work in this world. Now, let me tell you about Patreon. So Patreon is changing. We're taking a pivot during the second half of 2024. So instead of offering three levels, three tiers, we're offering four. We're actually adding a free tier. So, so instead of having a $3 tier, which was previously a coffee chat, we're moving that you know, face-to-face -face jaw wag with a cup of coffee to the free tier. So the coffee chat will, moving forward, be free. This is the coffee chat and this is, you know, coffee, Trader Joe's, Joe. That's what this is. Um, the $3 level will become a show and tell level. And so during my $3 level talks, I will be sharing with you primary resources and uh, materials from the history of belly dance. For the next six months, we're going to be doing flip throughs of some of the most popular and famous, but now long out of print books about belly dance. I'll be sharing with you my thoughts on each one, how how they impact the way we dance today and an analysis of the quality and substance of the content. I had a lot of great feedback from sharing Ozell's Gold book um, in the winter and then following that up with um, Belly Dance, Celebrating the Sacred Feminine. Um, those two books got so much feedback that I've decided to make it a feature of the um, information that you can get. So if you're doing original research like me, you know, I can share with you some sources and resources that you can use 
for your ongoing research. Or if you're just interested in taking a peek inside of one of these books, you've seen the cover, you've heard about it, but you've never been able to um, see it, you know, this is the time for show and tell. But I'll also be sharing things like vintage ephemera and links to articles and all kinds of, you know, basically unprocessed um, source material. So that's going to be at the $3 level, which will get the new name, the new rebranding as Show and Tell. Then the $7 level has made a change as well. $7 level is sewing demos, and I have ridden the struggle bus. I have gone through four different cameras of different, you know, top down recording sessions. And what I've decided to do was just buy a new cell phone and get a new boom arm stand. So the stand was purchased in early spring and I just got the new phone in July. So it now takes beautiful video and I can set it up on a very strong, sturdy boom arm that I'm not afraid of destroying or breaking or anything like that. And uh, that made this month's video on sewing with Egyptian fringe so much easier. So it's really the first one we've done with our new setup and it went pretty well. Let me tell you what that video is about. I'm going to share with you my two secret weapons that I use when I am sewing on Egyptian fringe. These are corsage pins, really pretty long ones, and parchment paper. In addition to this, I use glue, needles, and thread, and the needle choice and thread choice are also critical for getting good results and being able to sew it quickly and effectively. So if you're interested in seeing how I use parchment paper to make Egyptian fringe sewing easier, come and join me at the $7 level. And as you know, the way Patreon works is you sign up for a tier and you get access to all the tiers below it. So if you sign up at the $7 level, you also get the show and tell and the coffee chat. And of course, at the $15 level, I do history talks. Um, I've been uh, critiqued as being a little too windy, too, too verbose. Um, so I'm trying to keep it a little bit tighter and faster. So I decided that I was only going to have 25 slides in each of these talks moving forward. And um, the talk that's uh, available now in July of 2024 is The Merry Widow in a Suit Corsets. So these are original postcards from 1907 when Lily Elsie starred on the West End at the Daily Theater as Sonia the Merry Widow. So in this performance, she wore a suit. Um, and in this talk, I'm going to discuss who designed it, how they designed it, why they used a suit, where they got the suit, and um, all kinds of details that really haven't been published yet. I mentioned this and have one of these postcards in my book, The Cloth of Egypt, but I have more information that didn't make it into the book. And that is what I'm sharing in this month's talk, The Merry Widow and a Suit Corsets. So four, four presentations each month, freebie, you know, so basically free coffee chat, $3 show and tell, $7 for the sewing demo, and $15 for everything, including the 25 slide history talk. And that will make Patreon a better deal and value for everybody. And it will also help me do more outreach to the community via these free coffee chats. So um, with luck and good fortune, this next six month period will be productive and fun and interesting. And I hope you will join me for these um, presentations, these monthly presentations. Okay, so other things that are going on in Studio Divina. One, I'm working on Costume from the Hip 30. That is my primary focus right now. The expansion of the book is going to get its own series um, on YouTube, I think, where I'm going to talk about what it takes to write a um, kind of a, a big monster book project. So what I'm doing is expanding, updating, 
and renovating from top to bottom my original book, Casting from the Hip. It's been 30 years. Can you believe it? I look in the mirror and I can see it on my face. But more importantly, it kind of was the driving force, the the that pivotal moment where I found my niche and I decided to go for it. So while I've done many other things over the course of my, you know, existence here on the planet Earth, I am most proud of the books that I have worked on for the world of belly dance. And so I am in what I think of as legacy mode and I want to update it so that it uses you know, better language. I'm a much better communicator. I write better. I sew better. I take better photos. And so I'm going to be bringing everything up to date and I'll be adding a bigger um, appendix, back end section, the end matter. I'm going to be adding a lot of stuff. It's going to have a great bibliography and it's also going to have a research guide for other historians like me in the future who can look at my book and perhaps run with it for college presentations all the way up to their own published materials. And at the front end, I'm adding all the stuff that I wish I had put into the first book, but that first book started off as a series of handouts. And so I, it didn't even occur to me to like write a chapter at the beginning about the history of belly dance and belly dance costuming and all those things. It just wasn't part of my sort of Irv. I was very much focused on costuming at the time. I was working at the La Jolla Playhouse in the costume shop. I had I was working on a degree in theatrical costuming. And so my primary focus was on costuming. Well, since then I made that pivot and I'm very interested in utilizing my research in history. So it's getting a whole new front end section where I'm going to talk about the history of costuming in belly dance over the last 200 years and earlier. And with luck, it'll stand the test of time to scrutiny of researchers in the future who can use that as a jumping off point. And since I have this glorious bibliography at the end, it's going to have uh, running in-text citations. So you'll be able to say, okay, Dawn got that information from that book. Because when I wrote the first book, it was just off the, you know, it was on the fly and off the top of my head. I'm a little more sophisticated writer now. So that is what's happening. Now, for those of you who recall, will recall that I was working on a book called Shimmy on the High Seas, a murder mystery novel, uh, the answer is that has been backburnered while I learn how to write dialogue. Uh, you see, I got it all finished. I thought I was very close to being done. And um, yeah, my beta reader told me that all my dialogue sounded exactly like me. Not surprising since I wrote it. However, when you read a book, you want all the dialogue to sound like individuals. So I'm in a period of learning and study to figure out how to write better dialogue. I look forward to picking up that project in the future. But right now, I'm learning how to do it better. So it is been backburnered. So there you go. So I think that's all the news that's fit to print. Uh, Please be sure that you have uh, signed up for my free Patreon level. Follow me on Patreon to see these videos regularly. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, you can follow me here on YouTube and you can get the same information in a, in a, in a different way. Um, my goal, we'll see if I can make it, but my goal at this point is to do more community outreach and share more information. And as you know, I am on Facebook and I do mini blogs about belly dance costume history and belly dance history in general, actually. And I periodically or sporadically occasionally put things on Instagram. Instagram's more of a behind the scenes kind of place for me. And I send out a bi-monthly newsletter called the, you know, Belly Dance Mini Magazine from Studio Divina. And in that magazine, moving forward from this moment, right, moving forward, we've expanded the curated contents section. So, you know, after you read about what's on Patreon and, you know, I share with you upcoming projects I'm working on, there, there is in every issue um, 7 to 15 somewhere in that range, curated articles, videos, other publications, books to read, things to know. And so that curated content is comes from my own research. And again, 
folks on Patreon who, you know, sign up and register for my classes, they contribute to that production as well. Anyways, I just want to say thank you all for having a 30-year career in belly dance costuming books uh, that, you know, is now getting celebrated in this in this new reboot of Costume from the Hip 30 Years. Anyways, it has been great chatting with you. I'm going to go and finish my coffee and do some reading because that is what I do. And I will catch you in the future. Thanks again for all of your support. It means the world to me to be sharing this adventure in belly dance, costuming, and history with my fellow like-minded individuals. I really appreciate all of your support. And um, until next time, take care, be well, and have fun making something wonderful. Bye. Thank you.